problem here. You know, some of these cars have been put lap down by small problems as you ride on board with the 60. They've gotten those problems fixed. Now they're back up to speed, but they're several laps down. And they're in the way more or yeah. less. Huh? They're hard to get past. You see the light the sun beginning to set, really gets in your eyes coming into one and the exit of the keyhole there. And the only one that had a chance of maybe getting a lap back, of course, would, would have been uh, Brick Frizzell because he was right at the beginning on the restart. But that being said, now, you know, he's dropped back. He's not a contention. And getting a lap back on your own around mid-Ohio, well, Forget it. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oswaldo Negre trying to work his way to the front. Took over from Mark Patterson on that last pit stop. He is up to 10th. You ride on board with him right now. All over the back of David Donahue. Right there in the Porsche-powered fab car as they go through the tighter sections of the racetrack. Turn 11. Hear the wheel spin. Yeah, you do. And that's another place where the sunlight kind of aggravates your ability to see where you're going on that apex. You look over that corner and you're kind of looking right at the sun. Saw Negre caught up in through turn 13 there with a slower car. Has there lost some. Now, here's where the visibility gets really tough. Hopefully, you said, hey, I'm driving the late afternoon stint. You put a tinted shield on your helmet. Yeah, if you have a tinted shield on your helmet, you just pull that thing down now. And when you come out, it starts getting darker. You lift it back up, and you've got the thing covered. Bad news is, when you're looking at that sun, how many cars did you count going in there in front of you? <laughs>